Hi everybody, today we're going to be making braised lamb shank here at the Nook and Cranny restaurant. We're going to start with a couple of nice French pans. We're going to get them heated up. We're going to add a little bit of a canola oil here. Get the oil nice and hot. We're going to take our braised lamb shanks right here. We're going to season them well with salt and pepper on the outside. Flip them over, like that. My oil is getting nice and hot and smoky, which is what we want to do in order to braise any meat. You got to make sure your oil is very hot so that you're able to caramelize your meat on the outside. There you go, nicely coated with salt and pepper. Put them in our oil, nice and sizzling. There you go. This will be a long video. It'll be approximately 15 minutes long. That's about how long it takes to uh, braise these lamb tanks before you make your sauce. So basically we just sit there and let them cook a little bit. I have a mirepoix here of leeks, onions, celery, and carrots. All caught brunoise style to make the sauce for the braised lamb shank. Always be careful when you're dealing with hot oil. It can splash and it can burn you very severely. So you have to be a little bit careful with that. around a little bit, get them nice and hot. We're looking for a almost burnt or caramelized color on these. Like I said, this video will take approximately 15 or 20 minutes. We'll be adding some oregano, some fennel, A little bit of crushed chili and some cinnamon. That'll be basically the added to the sauce. We also have some red wine to deglaze the pan, which is always nice. A little bit of tomato paste and some diced, uh, diced tomatoes. And then we have approximately uh, four to six cups of uh, beef stock. When I make my beef stock, I like to add a little bit of demi-glaze for uh, a stronger flavor, you know? Makes nice. So we can see it's starting to smoke now. We should be able to turn them over. They're nice, getting caramelized. We'll have to do all four sides of this spray glass. Nice and caramelized. You can see the fat bubbling and crystallizing. It's really nice. Always remember, no color, no flavor. It's important to get color on the meat. That's what makes it taste so good. That crispiness. You deglaze it all. Makes it wonderful. There you go. Getting there. Getting there. Like I told you, it will take a while to do this. And then you have to put it in an oven. 325 for approximately three hours. That's part of the braising process and massage. So that the lamb absorbs all those flavors that were put into it. This is one of my more popular dishes. People like it a lot. It's a little time consuming, but uh, the end results are absolutely delicious. Here it's 
crackling. Got to be careful of that cream. It is very hot. I alternate the uh, pans on the fire because uh, just like not all ovens cooking equally, not all burners are going to cook the same way. One cooks more intense than the other. It doesn't matter if they're on, both on high. It just happens. One more side to glaze and one more side to braise. And then we can start on our sauce. Like that. Oh, it's delicious. A lot of effort, but the end results are worth it. Now, I use the New Zealand lamb here because it tends to be uh, less fatty. It's a grass fed, free range, so it's a uh, tends to be a better quality lamb. Looks good. Okay, one more spot. Put a hook on the end. Stand them up a little bit. Get that last egg piece done. I, didn't re I did not change the temperature on this. It's been on high the whole time, braising. It's very important, like I said, high heat for braising. I'm going to put all these in a four inch uh, shaping pan. I'm going to cover it with saran wrap, then foil. The purpose of the saran wrap is it's going to be, keep it uh, nice and moist so all the flavors stay in there. So, the nice and braised with that caramelization on all of them. We'll keep our oil in our pan, just like that. And we'll add our onions first to the hot oil. Always be careful, remember it's going to like splash a little. You got to be They cook very quickly in the hot oil. Next goes in the celery. Then we'll put in our leeks. And lastly, we'll put in our carrots. There you go. There you go. There they're pretty well cooked now. We'll dump those over our lamb chicken. Next, we'll put in our tomato paste. I was taught when I was young by a, an Austrian chef that it's important to uh, sear your tomato paste in order to uh, Reduce the acidity. Now that we've got a little bit of color on our tomato paste. We'll deglaze with our red wine. There you go. We'll add our tomatoes. Just like that. There you go. Beautiful. Put that cooked up a little. Then out the tomato paste, just like that. Now we can add our herbs, which are our oregano, our 
our fennel, our cinnamon, and lastly our crushed chilies. Be careful not to add too much crushed chilies. It will overpower it and make it too spicy. Lastly goes in our stock. There you go. This will be our sauce for braising our lamb in. We'll let it boil up a little bit before we add it to it. This way we ensure sterilization. And it will uh, allow the uh, demi glaze to activate as well, which will be a little bit of a thickener. Looks good. Wait for it to boil. Pour it for it to boil. There you go, we got one boiling. There goes the other one. So we'll pour this over top of our lamp shank. We'll uh, rinse out our pan a little bit, a little bit of water, so we get all those flavors in there. There's our other one. Nice. Pour that over our lamp shank. Like that. Beautiful. There you go. Nice. Just like that. Now we take our saran wrap. Right like that. A lot of people would turn around and say, you can't put saran wrap in the oven. Actually, you can if you do it properly. So, we do the saran wrap. And we do the foil. Always remember when you use foil, shiny side in. Because you want, don't want to reflect the heat. You want the heat to stay in there. Well, that's pretty well it. It goes in an oven now, 325 to 350 for approximately three hours. I hope you guys enjoy this. You have a wonderful day. Be safe. I'm Steve Clark from Nook and Cranny Restaurant. Take care.